field of nine runners. Vlad goes up from behind, 1,400 meters to race. And uh, away they go in the last race of the afternoon. Start has caught them in a pretty good line, but Light the Clappers was the first one to respond with Slurricane. Those two battled out, out in front to try and dictate the early pace. Two lanes back and running to Paper Trails, going to race along the inside rail in third. Then comes Veronique, who's racing away in fourth, followed by Air of Royalty. Further length back and running, we go to Raising Quinn, who's on the outside of runners. Then comes Major Winter, and towards the back end of the field is Rock on Tommy, who's won from last, and Captive Moon is last of all. So strung out field, about 10 lengths separating first to last, as they're about to take the angle in with just over 700 metres left to go. Out in front is Light the Clappers, now has the length and a half to spare over Slurricane in second. Further back in running, we go to Paper Trail in third, followed by Veronique on the outside in fourth. Then comes Air of Royalty is on the inside rail. Raising Quinn looks to go and improve on the outside of runners, followed by Major Winter. Rock on Tommy, one from last, and Captive Moon is last of all as they straighten up with the run for the judge in the last race of the afternoon. And Light the Clappers, going to try and go barrier to bot, still well held at the moment. Getting challenged on the outside by Slurricane, who's starting to creep a little bit closer. Closer. Along the inside rail, we drop Paper Trail, deep route to Raising Quinn with Veronique as they're into the final 200 meters. Slurricane now challenges Light the Clappers and goes past him with ease. It's Slurricane out in front. Light the Clappers trying to fight back, but Slurricane with a convincing turn of foot now goes clear into the closing stages. Paper Trail with Light the Clappers, Raising Quinn on the outside, but Slurricane gears down to win into the closing stages. Got close between Paper Trail and Light the Clappers into that second placing. Further back and running to Captive Moon, then came Air of Royalty. Number two, Slurricane, Anthony Andrews has a double on the day. And uh, certainly a good day of racing for him for the Vaughan Marshall Stable. Slurricane now becomes a two-time winner and a really well-timed ride here to win. Going away, gears down at the end of it and wins by the better half of two and a half lengths. Number two, Slurricane to close off proceedings here at Hollywood Bet Kenilworth Racecourse. Second spot got very close between the long-time leader, Light the Clappers, and Paper Trail. And on that note, number one, Light the Clappers, I think, just gets the better of number four, Paper Trail. So number one, Light the Clappers into second, followed by number four, Paper Trail third. Fourth placing, I'm going to go towards the inside, and that's going to be Captive Moon. He gets the better of Raising Quinn. In between that was Air of Royalty. Further back to Veronique. The winner of the last race of the afternoon, the green and white salts down the center of the picture at the moment. Moves past Light the Clappers with ease and is actually quite a convincing win. Shows a devastating turn of foot into the closing stages. The son of Verse and Getrich and uh, bred out at Clava Clay Stud Farm, also owned by Mr. Van der Merwe. So a big congratulations to the winning connections of number two, Slurricane. A convincing winner in the last race of the afternoon here at Hollywood Bets Kenilworth Racecourse.